give me toto. I tell her come close. Oh, she say you say you love me, but. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, but I moved out of San Antonio when I was like 12. I ended up in South Carolina by the age of 14, and then 15, I moved to Virginia type shit, so. It was kind of confusing, for real, for real, because I feel like everything happened so fast, and plus, it was a little different. Everybody was adapting um, to Corona. So it was kind of confusing at first, and plus you going on, you going through life problems still, you know what I'm saying that you got to deal with. So everything just moves so fast, you got to learn how to adapt and be flexible with your situation. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's a blessing though for us, for us a blessing because a lot of people, if they don't blow, I mean if they do blow up, then they they don't blow up till later on in life usually. He heard the song on SoundCloud. They say he fucked with the song, so he wanted to get on it. So then we tapped in, and then we just made that move. A dream collab would be like Lil Wayne. You put Kevin Gates on there. And it's his shit hard. Uh, I don't know nobody else. For us, for us. I don't be tapped in with too many artists, but yeah. <laughs> nah, it ain't no story behind that. It's just the dog, bro. It's like, what the, what the fuck? It's a dog. It's just, it's not a human. It's like, what the hell? Like, I don't know. Sometimes I be smoking, chilling in the crib. I dance, look at my dog. Like, what the fuck? Like, look at him right here. He big as hell. So it's just like, I don't. It's like a teddy bear, but he alive. I don't know. I fuck with the dogs though. Hmm. I will say I'm like in that awkward gray phase where it's like I could be mainstream, but at the same time, I I feel like I haven't put enough stuff out there to be mainstream. You know what I'm saying? I gotta build my fan base and shit. Uh, yeah. I feel like I'm I, I feel like I'm in that gray area. <clears throat> but you know, it's all up to me. If I work hard, then I could most definitely push for the mainstream. Say shit, Missy Elliott. <laughs> nah, just playing. Um, let me think. I say Lil Wayne, Drake. Let me think. Who I'm trying to think somebody love throwback, like a throwback. Maybe Biggie for real. Biggie was hard. So I say Lil Wayne, Biggie, and fucking Drake. Yes, sir. I've um, uh, I got a lot of videos on the way. I got some, I got a lot of content on the way. I'm start trying to use my Instagram, my Twitter, TikTok, um, YouTube. Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah. So we just trying to show some love to that and show some attention. I appreciate everybody that's fucking with that. By the way. Um, local artists. There's a lot of. I'll say. <clears throat> I'll say yeah. It's a bunch of local artists, like my nigga Keezy. Uh, let me see. It's some people from across the water. They hard. There's a lot of people, but I feel like the city type divided. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's not a lot of love being shown to both sides. So it just depends. But yeah, it's most definitely hard people in the city I listen to. I had my, <clears throat> I did Rolling Loud. I think that might have been 2020. Uh, but that was virtual that year. I was supposed to do one in Portugal, but they had changed up. They had changed some things up because COVID. Um, I just recently did my first show. It was in Williamsburg, Virginia. That was at William Mary, William and Mary College. They were showing love though, but I'm trying to um start performing more, start tapping in with more venues and stuff. Um, I don't really have a favor for a for a I could cause really I could mix like I'm the type of nigga I can mix like some designer with you might see me with like some designer with some damn H and M on or something like so you gotta learn how to everything don't gotta always be just I feel like that's corny like you got straight hundred percent 
all matching designing. Like, nah, I feel like we got to kind of mix it up a little bit, throw some crazy shit in there. But um, i say if I had to choose a favorite one, it would be Como de Garçon. I got a lot of that. For real, for I got a lot of their shirts. By the way, y'all can all follow me on social media, Instagram, Stay Solid Rock, Twitter, Stay Solid Rock. Um, I would I would have to go with either Criss Crosser. I got a song, Lucky. 